Before we get started with your reading, if you could please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you like personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. You can message me on Instagram. You can send me a regular email. Uh, I'm also on TikTok doing weekly readings now. And I just wanted to thank everybody for all the donations, all the emails, all the comments, all the likes. Thank you very much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Let's get into this reading. What do we have for Virgo at the, at the foundation, please? Ten or, sorry, nine of swords in reverse. What do we have at the sacral? So, Gemini energy with that Nine of Swords. What do we have at the Sacral, please? Sacral position. Page of Wands at the Sacral. Six of Wands in reverse at the Solar Plexus. This is an energy here, Virgo, that wants to project onto you that you actually can't make it without them, right? Whether this is a marriage, a person um, in your family, it's just an energy here that thinks it's a complete joke that you could actually go out into the world and live a happy, successful life without them. But the thing is here, they actually know you can, right? It's just highly threatening to them that you actually know this. So they're going to project this false narrative over your life, right? Like you need them for everything. Like they need to have a little, little bit of their pixie dust sprinkled over everything you do, Virgo. What do we have at the heart position? Ten of Wands at the heart. See, they only want to keep you around because they want to keep you bogged down with these burdens. This is like a Cinderella energy here. Okay, what do we have? So, Sag energy. What do we have at the throat? Throat position. So, we got Gemini on the table. Aries. Sag. Leo, Leo, and Sag. So a lot of fire on the table here. What do we have at the throat? Three of Wands. That kind of came out... Mm, I'm going to take it in reverse. It kind of came out in reverse. So it's an energy here that doesn't want you to have any foresight. They want you stuck. Aries energy. This is a full-on surrender. Uh, surrender. Uh, maybe they want you to surrender. It's. Just, I was going to say it's a full-on Cinderella energy, but maybe they just want you to surrender and give in. This is the energy that they're projecting onto you, is that you are a complete failure without them. This is somebody here who's like being told or being led to believe that their only purpose in life is to be a slave, a slave to these energies. Emperor in reverse, right? This is somebody with a huge nasty ego, right? This is somebody who's always power tripping, right? This is a very immature individual that keeps other people held back and repressed. Aries energy. There's so much fire on this table. It's all fire. You could be dealing with um, you could be dealing with an, an Aries Virgo, or just somebody who thinks they're a big bus, but they're really a complete nobody. It's like outside your home or outside your relationship with them. Nobody even likes this person. Everybody sees this person as a complete fool. Four of Cups at the Crown. This is how people see them. Right? It's like this energy here is perceived by the outside world as somebody who has no direction in life, right? Somebody who 
This is somebody here. This is like the type of energy, this is like the kick the dog when they go home kind of energy, right? They have no control outside of their environment. So when they go home, they just take it out on everybody else. This is the energy I'm getting here. Okay, what do we have from the occult tarot at the foundation? See what demon we're dealing with here, Virgo. Oh, Lucifer. Oh, imagine that, right? See, this is somebody who, out in public, right, they come across as a sweet little cherub, or they think they come across as a sweet little cherub, but when they go home, they're just sitting on a pile of skulls, right? They just peel off that little cherub suit, and they've got a big slimy demon inside there, right? It's just an energy who just co wears a complete mask on the, well, out in public, like on the outside world. They present themselves as something they're not. The Hermit, Fercus, that's your energy there, Virgo. So this is like um, this is like Hermit in reverse, right? This is an energy that wants to keep you stuck in isolation and loneliness, right? It's like you're the only thing in their life they think they can control. But that's only because you've allowed them the opportunity to do this. What do we have at the Solar Plexus? Ten of Swords, Malfast, right? So with this Ten of Swords energy, this is just a complete ending to this. Okay, this cycle needs to end, Virgo. Um, it's been a real push and pull with you guys, I feel. Well, for some of you, not all of you guys, but a lot of you guys have been going back into these energies. I've been pulling this energy up for you guys probably for like six months now. And some of you guys have moved on, and some of you guys are going back into this energy. So I guess that's typically probably how it's always going to be, right? There's always going to be people who are able to get away, and there's going to be some people that go back and try and, like, fix these energies or try and work things out, right? But eventually, you're going to need to move away from these energies if you want to have any sort of a, any sort of a happy life for yourself, this is an energy that's always creating some sort of a problem in your life, so you're stuck. It's like it's always wasting your time with its own burdens, right? They want you to carry these burdens. Cinderella. Cinderella energy. It's just never-ending. It's like I'm looking at this card right here and I'm seeing like a wildebeest, right? Something that's all dreaded up and dirty underneath. Something that it's just like to try and get this wildebeest clean would take so much work. It's just a never-ending task, right? That's how they want to keep you. They want to keep you in a place of always bogging you down with a never-ending task, right? Cinderella energy, always scrubbing the floors, Knight of Wands energy. So this is a very, very, very chaotic person. This is a very just... Uh, this person's a, a complete jerk, okay? All they want to do is do what they want, and they want you to be their little slave that they come home to. What do we have at the third eye? Five of Pentacles at the third eye, right? It's an energy that's trying to keep you trapped in this lack mentality, poverty mindset, right? This person, if you're in a relationship with them, they're most definitely the type of person who's probably out there cheating on you. But I feel like they're the per type of person who couldn't attract somebody else, right? They have to actually pay for it. It's this kind of energy. What do we have at the crown? Two of Pentacles at the crown, right? So this is an energy here that's just always trying to keep you in this place of over, being overwhelmed, Virgo. 
They want to overwhelm you so they waste your time, right? So they run your life out. That's the purpose of this, right? This is a lower demonic energy st sent straight from by Lucifer himself. It might even possibly be a... Uh, this might possibly be an actual incarnation of Lucifer himself, okay? That has actually been sent here to keep you off your path, which tells me that you guys are supposed to be doing something very special to assist the collective. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you, Virgo, for your donations. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys.